What is up, everybody? The History Guy here, ready for your daily dose of the ridiculous here on Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. While we take a break from all the fun I'm having over on Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail, and we continue to wait for that long-awaited Alpha 3 that will dramatically change the possibilities on this game, we're going to try something else ridiculous. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to build a fleet to go up against the Destroy a Full Fleet mission, a fleet that has no armor, no protection whatsoever. I'm going to do nothing to protect myself and see if I can use superior firepower and technology to make up for the difference in that. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to choose the... Uh, we're going to go with Modern Battleship 1, which is a little smaller than the Modern Battleship 2. And then we're just going to... We're just going to reduce everything as much as humanly possible uh best range finder uh yeah best radar we probably don't want shells that are going to explode <laughs> we are going to get super heavy shells though uh we're gonna we're gonna go with the best on the turrets we're gonna do everything we can to make this possible while offering myself no protection whatsoever. So uh, nothing on the Citadel, nothing on the armor. We're going to go with the existing armor. Uh, obviously weight is something we have to keep an eye on, but uh, as long as we have the cost down, we should be able to max the number of ships that we have. So uh, only one type of tower available on these ships. And we're definitely going to go with triple 18-inch guns. Give myself the best chance possible. Now I, I want to get the barbettes here. So we can get super firing going. Looks like we might be able to add a third 18 inch gun on the rear. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, we're only going to have two of these. So it's going to be too easy for him to destroy only two of them unless I can get really lucky and not get hit. Okay, there's that. So where's that put me with engine efficiency? Only 45%, so we obviously need to fix that. We are going to go with the best in terms of... Oh, we're down to one battleship now when we do that. All right, we're going to have to go with in these turbines. I want to go with more speed. I just have to keep the cost right where it is so i don't know what else i can do to help with cost i may just have to go with what i've got oh we haven't even added the other gun yet oh darn we're gonna have to reduce costs somewhere where can i do that weight's fine oh, i really don't want to i really don't want to change speed Displacement. There we go. Definitely can go down on displacement. I'd probably have to sacrifice one of these guns to go smaller, though. Oh, I'm still still dealing with... Oh, boy. Okay. I probably don't have a choice unless I want to reduce the number of shells that I have by 35%. Now, that'll get us there. All right. That might be what we have to go with. Let's give this a try. Okay. Here we go. I... I got to admit, I don't have a lot of optimism about my ability to stay alive long enough to sink all these ships. We're obviously going to have to keep distance and hope that's enough. It looks like we've already got the ability to fire. Now we've got about a thousand rounds of ammunition, so that's good. Let's. Oh, we already got a hit too. Now we do need to slow down to maximize our ability to fire so uh, we're going to get that own cruise speed bonus up as high as possible we're going to have to get really lucky and try to sink some of these ships before they can get oh wow we might just do it okay all right i'm feeling it we're going to need some more of that boom one down all right this might work just because of the superior firepower and range that I have. Awesome. Let's keep this up. The problem is going to be trying to spot his smaller ships, but 
The good news is those smaller ships are not going to be able to sink me even without armor. So we take these battleships out quick. We might be okay. All right, here comes death raining down upon him. Let's see how lucky we can get with the first shots. Oh, this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Plunging fire on his deck armor is something to behold. We'll never even identify him before he dies. Here we go. Bye bye. Oh, he's going to survive this round. Shall we try the high explosives? He's turning away. How far away? We're 24 and a half kilometers away. He's turning, so I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, the accuracy is beautiful. You can run, but you can't hide, my friend. Bye-bye. All right, the problem is now, of course, that we can't see the other ships. So we're going to have to head toward him. But now that the battleships are out, I don't have a lot of fear about that. I feel like I've removed any chance he has of winning this. I've been wrong before. I have no deck armor, so if he can land a hit from distance, he could do some damage. Maybe even pull a hood on me if it, if it plunges into just the right spot. I've just got that 8 inches of belt armor that I couldn't remove. That'll be the interesting thing to see if he actually lands a hit, what happens. I have a feeling if I pl tried this against the uh, Numbers Don't Matter mission, it would be a very different outcome. I'd probably die very quickly. Eh, we may have to try that and see, just to confirm that theory, because he'd have the accuracy to deal with me in that case. All right, let's go get him. All right, we spotted one. Spotted two, actually. Let's take them both on at the same time. Oh, we've got, an we've got one even closer. And I think he's already gotten his torpedoes in the water. Judging by the way he turned. So we're going to have to be careful here. And slow back down. We do have shells coming in on us now. So this is where we got to be careful. He only needs one lucky hit with my zero deck armor. All right, 57% chance to hit. I feel pretty good about that. We only need one hit on these destroyers. I feel like that many shells, one of them's gonna get him. There it is, oh yeah. Could you even imagine? Oh, and there's another one. I'm going to make sure we're targeting two different ships here. Don't get everybody on one. We don't need to do that. 
I would be curious just to see one of his hits land, his shots land. I want to see what it does. But I think we'll get to see that on the Numbers Don't Matter mission if we try this on there. All right, let's get back out here and see what's happening. I don't even know who we're targeting right now. Besides this guy. Uh, that one's gonna miss. Oh, too bad. So close. Death awaits you all with nasty big pointy teeth. Sorry, another Monty Python reference. Yes, die. <laughs> oh, and I guess that was enough to win. We didn't even have to sink them all. All right, so there you have it. Good accuracy and firepower is more than enough to overcome the fact that I had no armor. Now, it's going to be a very different story here. Numbers don't matter. I think with his accuracy, he's going to light me up really, really fast. So um, let's make sure that we've got everything that we need to have here. Give all techs. Yep. Okay. So we've got the big one, the 105,000 ton ship. I don't think we need that for this. So um, we're going to go down to the smaller one. Same deal. Uh, we'll go ahead with the boilers, but otherwise we're going to reduce everything in terms of protection and I feel like I'm gonna lose quickly and badly when we do this okay with all of that we're gonna have four battleships this time no armor except for the 8 inch belt which is completely worthless in this situation let's see what happens I have a feeling it's gonna be a He's going to make quick work of me. At least I've got four, so I'll, I'll last a little bit before I lose everything. We've got these seven destroyers. Maybe if we send the destroyers toward him, he'll go after those first. And that'll buy me some time to land some hits on him. I don't know. It's worth a try. So let's go ahead and speed things along until we make contact. Go for my destroyers first. Buy me time with your lives, destroyers. Okay, here we go. We've got contact. Let's get down to our perfect speed. Oh boy. I think he'll probably one shot kill me if he lands a hit. See what our odds are of hitting right now. They're only about 11%. Good, that means his odds are probably similar. Oh, there's some hits. But if I'm hitting him, he's going to be able to hit me. Yeah, we're just not doing a lot. All right, here we go. Oh, he did get a hit on me already. It surprisingly didn't do as much as I thought, but all he needs to do is get lucky. If he hits in just the right spot with my lack of armor, I'm toast. Ah, 
I don't know, it's a lot of shells coming at him. I might I might be able to do this. He's pretty heavily armored. See, I want to see what happens if he lands a good hit. I don't even know who he's firing at. I guess we're going to find out here soon enough. Where are his shells? I don't see his coming in. They're passing each other in the air. Here they come. Oh yeah, see, that's what I figured would happen with no protection. One hit kill. 13,000 damage. It's alright. We got a chance here. If it had been one on one, I wouldn't have a chance. Oh, we just lost another one. That one kind of happened unexpectedly. I guess I wasn't paying attention. Now we got to be really careful here because he just dramatically cut the odds for me. I've got half as many guns firing as I did before. We got two battleships right next to each other sinking. They both look like they're okay at the moment, but obviously that's not the case. Come on, you're still sitting there. Fire. Fire again. Come on. He's not even going after the destroyers wisely. How close are we? He's at 7%. Come on, baby. Oh, we lost him. Are you kidding? Still landing hits, though. He's at 4%, but we lost him. That hurts. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised because my destroyers are headed that direction. I can't believe they don't see him. All right, he's out here. All right, let's speed back up. All right, we got him. Here comes death from above. Come on, baby. So close. Is that it? Yes, no. Let's see if this does the trick.
There it is. All right. Let me know your thoughts. Use the comment section below. Please drop a like, and we'll keep you up to date on all the changes as they unfold, hopefully very soon. Thanks for watching.